Matthew Wade of My Silent Bravery. You're watching A-Sides. Well, as a do-it-yourself do artist in this day and age, uh, I guess the pluses are is that I'm in control, but the, uh, the negatives are that most things are out of my control. So it's sort of um, uh, the plus is that creatively I really don't have to abide uh, by what a label's telling me to do. But uh, on the minus side, it's usually uh, me fending for myself, and you know I get some some good friends such as yourselves in the industry that are trying to help me out and put me out there on a larger platform. But uh, tough, tough business, and uh, just keep pounding the pavement. I get what you're saying. Uh, I would say each album has its own theme, and I think as an artist, um, in the bigger picture, you know, if you put all my albums back to back, you'll see growth and maturity from one record to the next. I kind of feel like each album gets um, progressively better, um, and you know, the subject matter of each record is sort of just drawn by what's really happening in my life and in the world at large. Yeah, man, I think the longer I'm in this business, I realize that it's a process. There's no uh, overnight success, really, you know, and it's really, it's about, it's about a process. And so over time, I continue to try and work with as many um, talented artists, producers, um, people in the industry that can, you know, help me get to where I want to go and, and also... Um, help me uh, expand my creativity um, and as well as think a little differently, you know, think outside the box sometimes than what I might be envisioning and uh, try to bring, at the end of the day, uh, a great product that uh, people will enjoy. <laughs> oh man, I've, uh, I've been blessed to tour with some awesome, awesome people. I want to thank my booking agent for that, Maddie Raffle. What's up? Um, and I, I learned, I honestly, I learned something new each time I go out. Um, I remember when I was touring with Howie Day, he gave me some really good singing techniques and just basically told me no fear when you're up there with some certain notes or whatever and just really go for it. Sometimes you might be a little hesitant. That's one thing that, you know, um, sticks out for me. You know, one gig I was. Uh, playing with the Whalers, and I'm a huge Bob Marley fan, and actually their tour bus driver sat in on the gig um, on the drums with, with us, and that was cool, just learning how to do things on the fly and just being open and um, accessible and, and I really open to, to the process and what each, each gig might bring because really in rock and roll, it's, it's always a little bit on the fly. It's never quite planned. Ever? Uh, hmm. Diamonds are forever is a good one. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's many Jay Z songs or Rockefeller songs that have the word diamond in there that I'm, uh, you know, and plenty of rap songs that I'm just <laughs> not recollecting right now. But uh, yeah, we'll go with that one.